Stephen Locke knows exactly where and when he first got that storm chasing bug. It was 1989 and he was photographing a thunderstorm rolling across the Flint Hills. 26 years later, he's still obsessed with the power <laughs> and beauty of weather systems. So much so that Locke spends more than six months a year pursuing supercells from which he creates magnificent time lapse videos. Producer videographer Julie Denishe traveled to home Kansas with him to chase a late summer thunderstorm. One of the things that's beautiful in this world, one of these things as humans that we, that we find beautiful is power, great power. And thunderstorms have great power. So as we watch a thunderstorm coming across the plains, the rain is falling and that's uh, nurturing the soil and the crops. But at the same time, you have torrential rain and, and destructive hail and deadly lightning. So when you're watching a, a supercell thunderstorm, with or without a tornado, you're watching the act of, of creation and destruction simultaneously. Storms, of course, are very dramatic and very exciting, especially on the Great Plains. Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, those center states right through the middle of the country, these have the strongest storms in the world. Well, the season is uh, generally springtime uh, into early summer. That's when the atmosphere is most volatile and capable of producing supercell thunderstorms. The first thing I do when I get up in the morning is forecast. I, there's some basic data that I look at. I try to give myself a sense of what the atmosphere looks like 10 days out, five days out, three days out. Severe storm forecasting is just a tool to get you into close proximity of the storm. Ultimately, my purpose in being there is art. But I bet you this may be the storm that moves into Kansas. Yeah, <laughs> when you're in chase mode and you're watching these storms develop, you're in a hurry. A lot of times I don't get to fully enjoy the storm till later on when I look at those images or look at Steven's time lapse. You have to work quickly and it is difficult to compose uh, the image quickly, particularly because you're driving into a landscape that you've never looked at before. You don't know what's over the next horizon and the storm is evolving rapidly and so you have to jump out now and make it happen. Scud rising everywhere. Yeah. So this is the updraft region of the storm. Sometimes I'm lucky, you know, I, I've, I've been oftentimes looking for a spot to shoot a storm and then there'll just be this cute little abandoned building. <laughs> a gift from the universe that I pull up and, and put that into my shot. I like for myself and for my viewers to, to see how the storm evolves. I want people to be able to look at my time-lapse movies and look at that and say, yeah, I can see how a supercell moves. There are chases we go on where, you know, it might be a cap bust. You know, the storms just don't develop. Everything looks good, the ingredients are there. Sometimes it, it just doesn't happen, but when it does, it's very rewarding. Oh, wow, check that out. That actually looks really nice. There's a lot of work in what Steven does. It's amazing to watch him set up two, three cameras, you know. He's got a few different things he uses and gets his tripods out. I was initially disappointed in the structure of that storm. And at the time I was shooting it, I really didn't feel good about what I had. But when I got back and looked at the images and the time lapse on the computer screen, I actually was pretty impressed with the quality of the light coming from the sunset. We had that uh, warm alpenglow, that uh, warm sweet light, and the storm has got enough movement and enough gorgeous light that I think it's actually a nice time lapse. 
for years. I had always wanted to shoot a shelf cloud coming over the downtown area. So for many years, I've been running down to Liberty Memorial to shoot storms coming over the city. I remember wondering, should I go, should I not go? And it turned out to be a, a, a really a beautiful storm. And that was a storm that impacted a lot of people in the metro area because, you know, it was one of those busy Friday nights where everybody's out on the town and everyone's watching this very scary cloud come over the city. I love supercell thunderstorms. Nothing gets me present the way a supercell thunderstorm does. And in fact, I can remember you know, some of the very, very earliest experiences I would have in the middle of nowhere with thunderstorms at night. You know, I'm having this euphoric spiritual experience. You know, over time I've, I've learned that there, that just means that you're absolutely present. The past dissolves, the future dissolves, and you're absolutely present with what is.